welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff presents me, Deborah, with Tuesday Reviews and a continuation of the Snacks Around the World series. Today's snack did not come from the European market. It did not come from the Mexican grocery store. This came from the Colache factory. If you've never had Colache, uh, they are a Czech um, snack. There, there are things like them around the world, and I'll show you them in just a second. But when I heard of this place called the Colache factory, I was like, Colache? My grandmother used to make colaches, so yes. And there are many different kinds. There are the completely wrapped up kinds, which is what I have, and there are the more open top kinds, which are used usually for fruit and sweet fillings. What I have this morning, and yes, it is morning when I'm recording this, are savory ones. I've got two, like you may have seen in the thumbnail. I have one that is a Polish hot. Yes, that is a Polish sausage wrapped up in this beautiful bread. And I have one that I believe is sausage, egg, and cheese. They have all kinds of things. And they don't just do like, quote, Czech fillings. It's filling the regional. This company is actually based in Texas. There's apparently an area in Texas where a lot of Czech people were, and they're like, Josh Garnett, we want kolache. So they made it. And now this is a chain. The folks that run this are super nice. They're in a little town uh, outside of Greenville, South Carolina, that is called Powdersville. And um, I used to go up there all the time and they are open seven days a week. So you can imagine this fat chick put away some kolache. So I just want to try it and show you so that you can enjoy the goodness with me. I have heated these back up, which I am perfectly fine with. And um, this is the Polish hot by request because I love them so much. Mm. A juicy Polish sausage. Not too hot. Because I can't handle a lot of spicy stuff. But yummy. The bread, the dough. This is made there every day. They actually come in at like 2 in the morning to start their baking process for the day. They make all of these there. Fresh. Which is why sometimes they run out of stuff. My dear friend Sean picked these up for me this morning on his way down from Greenville. And he said this was the last Polish hot that they had. And he was picking them up at like 7.30ish. So yeah, they go quickly. This one, sausage, egg, and cheese. Notice it's a different form factor. This is all made by hand. Mmm. You can see the egg there, the egg and the cheese. Mm. These maybe not so much a snack as kind of a portable meal, but they are delicious. Yes, you can put toppings on them. With the Polish hot, I will probably put a little bit of mustard on it because yum, but yeah. So I got two of these this morning, which is good that it's limited to two because I will sit there and eat these things until I pop. They even have a sausage gravy one. It's in one of these round ones. And it's literally southern sausage gravy inside. No, you can't beat that. You can't beat that with a stick, okay? They have pizza ones. They have all different flavors. Mm. If somebody ever offers you colache, Try it. These are going to be very familiar tastes, especially depending on the filling that you get. Um, Czech people settled all over this country. There are a lot of Eastern European people that settled in the northern parts of the U.S. So if you see that, I know there are places up north, some mom and pop shops. Um, that I have seen on Triple D, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which I absolutely love. You know, shout out to Guy Fieri because he finds all the yummy food. But I have seen places on there that make colaches daily. Love me some colaches. And besides, this colache place, the Colache Factory, is the place that got me started drinking coffee. I didn't drink coffee when I was young. Always loved the smell of it, didn't love the taste of it. 
they carry a brand of coffee there that I can't think of the name of right now. But the first day they opened, we actually wandered in. We didn't know it was their first day opening. It wasn't like a grand opening. It was kind of a soft opening. And they didn't have their drink machines yet. They didn't even have any like, you know, individually sold drinks. They had coffee. So they had a Cafe Ola or Cafe Oya, which is like a Mexican coffee uh, that has cinnamon in it and everything. And I was like, okay, I'll try that, you know, because I needed something to drink. I was like, oh, oh, life changing, mind blowing. So yeah, now I drink coffee. Thanks, Kolache Factory. By the way, though, like I said, if you get a chance to try any of these, either at a Kolache Factory or at a mom and pop shop that's not a Kolache Factory, because this is owned by an individual couple too. So yeah, give it a shot. Mm. Bread, and if you're if you're gluten, if you can't have gluten, I'm sorry. I apologize. This is probably not for you. But for everybody else, yeah, this is definitely fat chick approved. Thanks for stopping by the Snacks Around the World series. Playlist will be linked down below. Don't want to miss any of these because I've been finding some interesting foods from all around the world. See you soon.